Isaiah 29:15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? Call Halal Yahweh by Shem El Shai, by Shem Rakakudash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, among the heathen nations that look like those heathen nations, and to the few Akwaf that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone coming at you with another lesson in truth. Uh, saw quite a few uh, videos and there's so much happening in the world. Um, <clears throat> I chose particular videos from the from the TikTok that I'm going to use uh, for tonight's lesson. And um, the videos will be pretty much self-explanatory. All right. And uh, the system is failing. It's completely it's completely failing. And um, this first video is going to this guy's going to be talking about them coming for the guns as a result of that, because Esau knows that he has a short time and all his all his lies. The house of cards is falling down and all his lies are just being uh, exposed. He's being exposed. The Lord is putting that spirit, you know, whistleblowers and different information to get leaked. But, you know, they're, they're being exposed uh, to the point to where they have to do something. And um, and that, like in Europe right now, they, they're they're uh, going against, um, you know, there's a big organized thing with the citizens where they're banding together in the hundreds of thousands to to band against the government by one by not paying bills, which is going to do devastation to these uh, Fortune 500 companies, power companies and things of that nature. And uh, and it's funny how that new that story is not being broadcast um, over the mainstream media, especially here in the West. That's the last thing they want, you know, people to hear. But it's happening and things like that will happen here. More insurrections, more problems. But without any further ado, let's just uh, play these uh, quick videos and grab a couple scriptures. You guys need to understand that they're not going to stop coming for the guns. They have to, because they're up against a wall. If they can't massively increase taxes or tax revenue somehow, they're going to start defaulting on debt. They're going to get their credit card shut off, because once they start defaulting, people are going to stop buying the debt, which means the debt spending will be severely curtailed. So they have to increase tax revenue. But the problem is, if they increase tax revenue, if they increase taxes, whatever they try to do, they're going to start running into tax revolts and tax avoidance. Mm -hmm. That's why this, this bill they just passed has huge increases for uh, IRS agents. They have to do this. There's no other choice for them. So they have to take the guns. They have to disarm us. Because otherwise they're not going to be able to fleece us like they need to in order to survive. They are really up against it right now. Like, the walls are closing in. And they know it. That's why they're getting desperate. Wow. So uh, let's grab a quick scripture. This is uh, Revelation. Well, I'm getting that. Let me speak on this next video. Um, you know, this uh, this thing with Joe Biden, I mean, not Joe Biden, but uh, Donald Trump, his his personal place, you know, uh, being raided and all. And yet, you know, the Democratic Party were caught up in all sorts of scandals and breaking of the law. No such thing happened to any of them. They really don't want this man to uh, to 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 run. And or or they're just simply using him to spark this civil war that they really want, right? Because they're gonna there's going to be a civil war and race skirmishes um, in America. It's going to be a race war. Um, 
The Bible clearly tells you that, you know, and it tells you that Judah, his hands will, his, will be on the neck of his enemies. And well, this number one enemy is Esau, Edom. But uh, this is Revelation 12 and 12. And it reads, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, meaning deceiver, is come down un unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So they know that their time is, is, is getting short. They know that they don't have much time left. So they're going to act. Um, things are going to start happening even faster than they've been happening. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm shocked and surprised that, uh, that we... Uh, well, there was some major incidents at, around the time that I I called for it, you know, just, just speaking as a man, um, just simply because I'm watching and I can see what is, you know, that the pot's about to, to burst, but it didn't as burst as big as the uh, spill over. It didn't, it didn't spill over as, as big as I thought it would, but, uh, things definitely are ramping up and they still are. So, uh. Donald Trump's fucking house got raided, so let's take a look at all the things that don't get your fucking house raided. Smashing your phones when you're under investigation. No raid. Having over a hundred emails with classified information on them. No raid. Being identified as the big guy when your son is collecting money all over the fucking world. No raid. Working at the FBI and lying to the fucking FBI. No raid. Being the director of national intelligence, lying to Congress. No raid. Former head of the DOJ, being in contempt of Congress, no fucking raid. Committing all kinds of crimes on fucking camera and being investigated for tax issues, no fucking raid. Oh, fucking you again? Funding the dossier which cost the American taxpayer millions of dollars to chase after your political opponent, no fucking raid. The head of the Republicans in the House tells Merrick Garland, head of the DOJ, preserve your documents, motherfucker. I'm going to pound you over the head with this until fucking November. You're going to vote. We're going to take back the House and the fucking Senate, and we're going to fucking investigate. Donald Trump's fucking House. Yeah, so, you know, these these patriots and diehard Americans like this one, they're ready to, to, to go to war. They're ready to go to war. Um, and, I mean, it's just so many videos with these these patriot-type Americans. They're... they're you know, then what's that hashtag? Enough is enough that's going around. So, and in the midst of that, uh, Jacob is going to be target for destruction. We keep talking about all these shootings. Now, I watched one that happened on 430 South uh, Clark, and we actually used it during the live show this past Sunday. And that was just some nigger shit. But, um, but we've been telling you that these Edomites have been dropping off weapons. In the, in the uh, you know, in black and brown community, so-called, and uh, and that they they put on those, and that these white males put on these uh, these white supremacist groups and gangs, they put on uh, those prosthetic prosthetic uh, uh, masks and and gloves that look like human hands and faces, um, and they they put on melanated ones and they go into the neighborhoods and they shoot shit up. All right, they go and kill people, they go and murder people, and then. They and then they they you know and it sparks uh, retaliations from gangs on people that really didn't. So basically, they got these gangs shooting and killing each other and constantly keeping them at war. And and um, this thing is really happening. A lot of people don't want to believe it, and but uh, it is. All right. So let's play this one real quick. What if I told you that some of the shootings in Chicago? that are labeled as black on black crime or gang violence are actually done by white supremacists and white gangs. Case in point, this man drove over 30 miles from Woodridge, Illinois to Inglewood, one of the most impoverished neighborhoods in Chicago with one of the highest rates of gun violence due to unresolved systemic racism with thousands of rounds of ammunition and several guns. And he wasn't just there with weapons. He shot into the park at 3.30 in the morning on Thursday, August 4th. Sounds very similar to what happened in Buffalo, New York. Meaning it seems like he was there to survey the scene to carry out another mass shooting. I challenge you all to consider that these guys are never lone wolves. And also, just because he got caught does not mean thousands of others have not. Exactly. And and sometimes, like I said, those prosthetic masks are in play. 
You know, every, everyone can go on, go back and watch a couple of those videos of these uh, pale males that put on melanated masks and went and robbed banks. And then, uh, and then, you know, and then melanated, melanated men were uh, arrested for these crimes. All right. And come to find out that uh, they, they, they had the wrong people because they just happened to have a mask that happened to look like a real person. All right. <clears throat> and, you know, and this sort of thing. Uh, it's prophesied because that's all a part of uh, Jacob's trouble. So a lot of you uh, Israelites are, are getting ready to die. You know, that they're, they're two thirds are marked for death. But the flip side of this coin is that, you know, this man, he has that, uh, he has that, that line of demarcation, meaning he has a line that he cannot pass. Let me see if I can find that. Oh, that's in Job. Yes, uh, it was Job 14 and 5. <laughs> that's what I thought it was, and then I doubted myself, but that's what it is. This is Job 14 and 5, and it says, Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So there's a time, a date, and an hour, a line that Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, will not be able to pass. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, Wa Ababa Ball, Kwam Yasrav, and Shalom.